If you guys want to know the best build in NBA 2K21 next gen, then watch this whole video through. As you guys can see, he just hit a red, a red can heavily contested green. And you can see he's throwing dunks down over anybody and he can even speed boost. And this is all at the power forward position. And he is six foot seven. Look at that kill and a green. I mean, look at these stats at 99 overall. 96 driving dunk, a 98 driving layup, a 94 three-pointer, a 99 mid-range, 88 ball control, 88 speed with ball, so you can speed was perfectly fine with a 95 perimeter defense. And look at the rebounds and the blocks on this player. It doesn't get any worse with the badges. Look at the 11 finishing badges, 28 shooting, 28, that's a pure sharp at the power forward position, 20 playmaking, and 18 defense. Your player can do it all. And man, I promise you, this scoring machine is going to break NBA 2K21 next year. I was just trapping. I cannot tell you what the fuck just happened. Used to have all the static. Now I don't really care about nothing, just want the cabbage. And I just want a bad bitch. She set me up and she leaving the back end. And she leaving on weekend. These bitches be bugging, these bitches be. I gotta get to these pesos. Now I smoke on my dope, I don't chase hoes. Double seven. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Chad Dia. Back with another banger. In today's video, I'm going over the build, the build that everybody wants to know. Everyone has been asking for this build. Literally, Chad, every time I stream, yo, what position your build? How tall is he? What's your wingspan? What is this build that you're using? And I honestly couldn't tell you because I was just trying to delay this video, but like, I know I couldn't, I couldn't delay it anymore. I had to drop this video. Now, before we get into this video, shout out my boy Double HDF for helping me make this build. You know, if you guys haven't checked this channel, I'm sure most of you guys have known by now. But if you guys haven't, I'll put his link in the description. Shout out to him um, for help. He like literally helped me make this whole build. It's like we both have the same build. It's the most insane build in the game. And like I said, if you guys haven't checked out his channel, I'll make sure you guys do that. Now, like you guys saw in the intro, I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. Look at these these badges. They're, these badges are literally game breaking. Look at the, look at my shooting. I have like too many. I have like over. Like I overshot the shooting badges, the finishing badges, that's all you need. Playmaking more than enough and defense, it's all you need as well. This is insane. This build is literally game breaking and it's it's a power forward. It's literally a power forward. You guys can see a scoring machine power forward. It's six foot seven and it, it, it can play defense, it can play offense, it can do it all. Now I'm gonna show you guys this build, but you guys have to promise if you make this build that you like the video and hit the sub button because we just hit 35K and thank you guys so much for supporting me for real. Now let's try to get 36K off this video and yeah, let's get right into it. All right, man. So here we are in the My Player Builder. Um, I'm gonna move my face because it's gonna be in the way of a lot of the things. So I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. You guys aren't gonna have to see that. So this is the My Player Builder. Obviously, we're gonna want to do is make a power forward. Point guards here are not that good. If your player is not over like six, 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 seven, your player is not that good this year. That's just the man this year because every build can do everything. So why would you not want to do all this at the power forward position and being taller? And it's up to you. Jerry's number. I don't give a shit. Um, I went right height. You're gonna want to go six foot seven to get the highest speed ball handling three Anything higher is a little much my weight when I went with is 211 210 is it's nothing changed You go to 211 except your strength goes up one so you might as well do 211 But it doesn't really matter the wingspan I went with 611 a lot of people go 74 because you get really really good defensive stats And you're the badges that you get on 74 are like insane for defense but I went with 611 because you don't minimums useless 611 is perfectly right in the middle where you can get a 93 pointer and 84 84 ball control but you're like your wingspan is not short enough to like be a little like you know a little girl in the paint reaching get by every place so i want 611 i really do think 611 is the best one because at 99 overall you can also get deep threes hall of fame the body shape is really up to you but usually i go compact but since this player is a power forward i'm going to go to find i went to find i think it's just the best it doesn't really matter it's just like what you look like i went to find now this is the hard part this is the part i'm in my face again this is the part where a lot of people get confused um just copy what i do driving lamp you're going to want to make it have a 94 driving dunk you don't want a 92 to get post riser hall of fame right off rip and 90 overall um driving dunk gets you elite contact dunk so 92 is all you're gonna want and you're gonna want to put this up to max a standing dunk and standing dunk is actually really really useful if you guys didn't know and that's your 11 finishing badges right there now for the shooting you're gonna want to max everything until you get until free throw and then you want to put free throw down to uh 79 this is what i did my freakers are 79 to get 28 shooting badges and that is insane for a power forward as you guys know with a 93 point this guy doesn't miss he doesn't miss if you guys watch me i don't really miss that much this is a huge part of the build if you guys want to take it down like 25 you can i did 28 because you know the more the merrier playmaking you're gonna to want to put your ball handle max obviously because you're not this is one of your lowest stats so you don't want to have this it gets people regardless you just max those and your pass accuracy put it up to you get 20 playmaking 
and that being said you want to move your pass accuracy not only to 70 but you're going to want to go up to 71 so as you guys can see the floor general pops up um so put your pass accuracy 71 if you guys want floor general you can make it 70 if you don't want floor general i just put a 71 just to have just in case for defense and rebounding i had 18 um which we call it badges defense so perimeter defense you go to 95 and have a 99 perimeter defense at 99 99 like that is game breaking steel you're gonna want to not touch because steel like fucks everything up look how much it does you have one you have one defensive badge you're an already 93 overall do not touch steel it takes up so much you're gonna want to max your block offensive rebounds and your defensive rebounds and then you're gonna put up your speed max acceleration max vertical to a 70 stamina max all right, and after you max out all your block, offensive rebound, defensive rebound, you want to put your interior defense to a 29. So that's where you get 18 defensive badges. They're gonna max your speed, your acceleration. You're gonna put your vertical to a 70 because that's all you need for um, what you call it, contact dunks, and your stamina to a 95. So you don't get tired like a little bitch. Now that being said, this is the badge count. You're 94 overall. You still have more to like you know put into it. So you can do whatever you want. I would either suggest putting a little bit on steel maybe or on strength or vertical whatever it doesn't really matter honestly because it's not gonna do much for you anyway yeah you can't do anything there um you're not gonna really be able to do much so really just stats i put, i would put it on vertical put it to an 80 and then you can put it up interior interior defense like three to a 32. this is what i would do this is the best build in the game as you guys see he's a power forward 670 he can speed boost shoot dunk play defense you can do it all he's he's the greatest build in the game he's six seven his wingspan's huge it is game breaking now for the um, takeovers here. The best one, hands down, is spot up position. You stand if you're standing and you're wide open with this takeover. You're doing a standing shot, not a fade. You're gonna you're gonna green it. You're gonna make the shot. You're gonna want to do spot up position for primary. Secondary is where it gets a little tough. A lot of people like you know extreme clamps or perimeter uh, badge drop. Um, I do easy blow buys. A lot of people like finishing moves. You dunk on people. I do easy blow buys. That's me. But that's not what you have to do. It just helps you get by people if you're because I ISO. If you're isoing, you can really get by people a lot easier. A lot of people like ankle breaking shots. You know, there's a lot of things you can do, but I went easy blow bys because I, like I said, iso. So you have to guard both. You can either guard my shot or you have to guard my drive. And if I have both these takeovers, it's it's virtually impossible to guard this build. And as you guys can see, if I make this build, it's going to be called a scoring machine. You know, I'm going to show you guys real quick the badges that I put on. So for the overall testing, I'm going to put 99 so you can get all the badges. Now these are the best badges in the game. Posterizer Hall of Fame is a must. Fearless finisher on gold. Um, is what I have and then I put Heat Secret Hall of Fame. Heat Secret is really slept on. It's it, any shot you get like in the paint, you're gonna get a bigger boost to take over. I get takeover in two buckets, three buckets, depending on how like how it goes down, but two or three buckets I'll have takeover. So this is definitely a must need a badge. Shooting, this is where this is a lot. Now that being said, just do what I do and then we'll talk about the rest. These are musts right here. These are musts. This is what I have personally, these badges on Hall of Fame. Now and these three you can go anywhere you want. I put it on this This is my badge layout. You're gonna have clutch shooter on bronze catch and shoot all the stuff on bronze But the ones in Hall of Fame are really really good a lot of slept on badges this year hot shots amazing It's a must blinders slept on stop and pop all these badges are good for my play style Especially this is my badge layout anything that I didn't touch in this I wouldn't really put anything on any of this maybe difficult shots in volume shooter that's about it. This is my badge layout, and this is probably the best one you're gonna find. Making a lot of uh, a lot of stuff on badges more better badges than last year. Like bullet passer, I have on silver. Dimer, I have on silver. I think quick first step, enhanced phase. Enhanced phase is a must. Your player is going to be gassed, super super fast until you have hands for days. So if you if you get him right away and you make him and he's slow, don't be like oh shit, like he's not that good. Like nah, he's an 85. Badge him out. You know, get hands for days so he doesn't get tired, and he'll be a lot lot better. I have a pluckable Hall of Fame, Master Anchor Breaker. And bail. Yes, this is what I have. Okay, these three badges in Hall of Fame are must because you're gonna get ripped a lot. It's just how this game is. These hands for days, quick for step you need, and these four badges at top are silver, dimer, bullet passer, bailout, anchor breaker are really preference. But these are also very, very good badges that I run in this game. All right, guys, the last one we're gonna go into is defense. And defense, I have the best ones, so trust me, best badges hands down. So a lot of builds don't even get intimidator, but this one does. So we're lucky. So we're gonna put this in silver. Maybe you can put it on gold if you want. But I like on silver. I know you can't see this up here, but this one's clamps. Clamps Hall of Fame is a must. You get crazy animations. You must have clamps. Rim Protector I have on Hall of Fame. Pick Dodger I have on Silver. Chase Artist I have on Hall of Fame. No, Pick Dodger I have on Gold and Rebound Chaser on Bronze. Now let me talk you through some of them. Rebound Chaser, Bronze helps. You will get more rebounds noticeably, trust me. Pick Dodger I have on Gold just in case I play someone that uses screens and you want to get around them. You know it's not a must, but it definitely helps. Rim Protector and Chase Down Hall of Fame because ISO this year is so overpowered. This is the only way you can get stops against really, really good people that know how to ISO because 
every build can do everything on offense. Offense is overpowered this year, so you're gonna get stops by chasing these people down and blocking their shots. That's the best way because they're not gonna miss if they're wide open and then they can just rim run your ass. So you gotta hope and pray you get a block. Chase the artist and rim protector hall of fame are huge badges to have. And yeah, these are my favorite fans of badges. This is what I run. And yeah, that's really it for the video. Hopefully this video helped. Guys, please use this build, please. It is game changing, it is game breaking, and it will change you. So if you guys are just getting this game, make sure you guys use this build. And if you guys haven't subbed to the channel, which way? That way, fuck. Yes, that way. If you guys haven't subbed the channel, make sure you guys do it. I appreciate it. We're almost on our way to 40K. So if you guys haven't, like I said, hit the sub button, turn on post notifications. Please do that. I appreciate it. And like I said, use this build. It's been Chad DF. Everyone, thank you guys so much for watching. Everyone have a great rest of your day. And I'm out. Peace.